Hey guys, so I'm starting with these little shadow box frames. I'm taking the middle part out. And then I have this picture hanging kit where I'm going to use the bigger hooks and the smaller hooks. And then I have these wooden craft blocks or cubes. And I'm going to spray paint all of that metallic silver. Then I'm taking these little organizers. I'm facing those inward, and then I'm going to take these hinges that I got from Walmart. They were like a dollar and seventy cents, something like that. I'm taking my E6000 glue, and I'm going to glue these on. Be sure when you're applying the glue that you don't get the glue in the middle part where the hinge actually has to like open and close, because the glue will dry and um, your hinges won't open properly. So that is that. And this is how it should do. As soon as you glue it on, you should be able to open it pretty good just to make sure that it is going to open. So you got this contact paper, um, paper from Dollar Tree. I'm just covering up these organizers because we're going to wrap this entire thing in like bling wrap. So I didn't want it to look like real see-through-ish, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty much just putting this on top as a base for our bling wrap. I did want to mention that this DIY is inspired by creative living lifestyles. Be sure to check her out. So I'm just cutting it to size. So we're going to do one half and then do the other half. Because of the hinges, we still want this to be able to open. So I'm cutting splits and then I'm just um, taking the smaller splits and crossing them over each other and cutting off the bigger flap. And I've done both sides and we're making sure it's still open and it does. So then I'm taking my E6000 glue. I'm smothering it with glue. Then I'm taking this little tool. I have no idea what it is, but I'm just spreading the glue out evenly. Then we're going to take our bling wrap. I got this bling wrap from Amazon. Since my like whole aesthetic, like, of course, bling, <laughs> um, I buy my bling wrap and my gems and all that kind of stuff in bulk on Amazon. Um, I'll try to link it in the description box below so you guys can see it. So I pretty much just cut this to size. We're going to wrap these in bling wrap. Okay, here we are. <laughs> I got this picture frame from Dollar Tree. It fits three four by six frames. I don't know the actual size of it, but this is going to be the base of our jewelry holder. Um, so I'm taking these wine glasses. I ended up using five of these bottoms of the wine glasses. So I pretty much just put glue on the little stem part and glued it to the mirror from the frame. Um, I took the mirror out of the frame just so the size when we set it up you guys will see how everything goes but we want to make sure that when we glue it down the size will still be able to open up so yeah like I said I did end up putting another bottom of a wine glass in the middle so now I have this fabric that I got from Joann's um, it ran me about ten dollars for a yard so yeah, and pretty much what I'm doing is gluing this down to our organizers. And then I'm taking our little um, picture hanging kit, um, hanging things, <laughs> and I'm gluing those down so you can hang your necklaces, your bracelets, whatever you can hang, okay? And I'm pretty much just customizing the inside. So now I'm using these stackable organizing drawers and I'm going to be blinging out the top of it. I would recommend um, putting that contact paper down again and then putting the bling wrap on it just because at the end you'll see where you can kind of see it through these drawers. So I'm just um, cutting out four squares and then placing that on like that. Um, be sure if you are doing this to save the four squares that we cut out because we're going to put those on top of the little knobs that you can pull out. So then we're going to test this out, make sure it fits good and snug, and it does with the bling wrap. So again, we're using these little extras that we cut out and we're gluing them on top of the little knobs. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> 
All right, back to our shadow box frames that we spray painted silver. I'm using some hinges again from Walmart and I'm going those to what will be the back of this little shadow box. And you guessed it, we are wrapping this in bling wrap, girl. So I'm putting my E6000 down, spreading it out evenly. And we're just going to start applying this bling wrap. All right, then we are cutting it and we're going to do the same to the other side. We want to make sure that this opens. So we're going to do it like that. Okay, so now we are going to start putting this all together. I'm going to glue one side, only one side of our little towers here. So I only glue down one side so it can still open as you can see here. Okay, okay. And now I'm going to do the other one. Again, it's just one side so the tower can still open open all right into our wooden blocks that we have also spray painted silver we're going to put those on the back of the tower back part of the tower because we because we still want the front to be able to do what that's right open so now we're taking our drawers and i'm just gluing either side to um and then i'm putting glue on the wooden blocks and we place it up there the glue should attach to the back of the tower so i open it just to make sure that no glue would get on the front part of it and i glued it down and then we're pretty much going to stack it i'm putting the blocks between it just to kind of give it space i didn't want to glue everything together i want to kind of give everything you know its own drawer its own type of space you know what i mean so we're just going to stack it up here All right, y'all, and this is what we have so far. Now we're about to put on the top piece. So I'm putting blocks down, and then I did end up putting one in the middle because this piece is a little heavy that I'm about to put up here. So we're putting glue on the wooden blocks, and I'm also putting glue on the side of our little bling box. I guess that's what I'll call it. And then we're going to place it up there. Again, I said I did put a wooden block in the middle because it was a little heavy. Okay. And then I'm using some uh, doll hair beads and uh, I spray painted them silver uh, while well, I already had some silver. And then I'm, I'm putting these on as knobs. Um, all this stuff is optional, the bling wrap, the um, velvet, this that I'm about to show you now. All this is optional. You could just put this together and let it be how it is, you feel me? So anyways, I'm taking these little cushion rollers. And I'm going to wrap these in the fabric. And these are going to be like, you know, it's going to be hard to explain. But you know, when you have like a jury box, it like has a space for you to put your like rings and your stud earrings and different things like that. So I'm just creating different um, forms of like jewelry holders, I guess, so to speak. So um, I got these um, little cushion rollers from... Dollar Tree, all the other ones as well. What are those called? Um, I don't know. So I just pretty much arranged these uh, little hair curlers and hair rollers and just created my own type of like ring holder. So that's what I did here. Just playing around again. This is totally optional. You can leave it as is, but I feel like the, the velvet will help keep your jewelry like in place it won't move around as much so yeah that's why i am doing all of this or whatever okay so yeah <laughs> And this is the final product, you guys. I did go around the rim of um, our base, the frame, with some bling wrap just to cover up um, the stems from the, the little feet that we have. But this is an overview of it. I know this is super extra. Uh, these are what the drawers look like. But I know this is super extra. I know a lot of people are going to be like, you could have just bought one. But you know what? <laughs> you can appreciate stuff better if you like created it yourself. You know what I mean? And DIY to me is therapeutic. So enjoy.